What's up guys, it's Chris Majestic and today we're looking at something a little bit different. So you might remember a few months ago we looked at the Nebula Cosmos projector and that was a portable laser projector. What we have with us today is the Nebula Capsule 3 which is another portable laser projector but this one's actually going to be even smaller. So we're gonna check this thing out today, but I do wanna talk a little bit about it before I even get it open. So this is gonna be a little bit different from the other portable projectors that we've seen on the market. It has 1080p resolution, it's gonna have a 14,000 milliamp hour battery, and a whole host of other features, like it has HDMI port, but we'll get all into that. But I do wanna go ahead and get this thing open so we can check it out today. Now I do wanna thank Nebula for sponsoring today's video and sending this out to us. So let's go ahead and get into it. So we've got a nice, this is actually gonna be a voice remote. And this is the projector. Now this is actually smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Um, so it's kind of like a can actually, pretty short. I think it's just under seven inches tall. Um, it's a, just over two pounds. It's made of metal, which I think is interesting. This is a really cool design. I actually like the way this looks. So if we wanna go come around here to the front of it, we can see. So obviously that's gonna be your lens right there on the front. And down here, this little circle you're gonna see down here is actually a camera. And that's because it actually has autofocus as well as auto keystone correction. On the back, you're gonna have a few more things here. So it's gonna have infrared port on the back because that's gonna work obviously for the remote. This button here is actually for Bluetooth since it has Bluetooth. Obviously that's gonna be your power button. It has an aux port so that can give you audio, analog audio output. Um, this HDMI port, obviously for you to be able to connect things, but this actually, believe it or not, actually has HDMI uh, CEC as well as eARC, as well as a USB type C port for you to be able to power it. On the bottom, you're gonna have a quarter inch hole because you can mount this on a projector if you want. I mean, I don't, <laughs> you can mount this on a tripod if you want. And on top, it's gonna have some capacitive power buttons or navigation buttons for you to be able to navigate around. I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing plugged in power it on. As a matter of fact, no, we don't need to plug it in because this is a portable projector that has a battery built in. So I'm going to go ahead and power this thing up. And while I power it up and I'm going to wait for it to, to boot up here, I want to talk a little bit about the specs. So again, this is a 1080p projector. It's going to be a DLP laser system. Um, it produces about 300 ANSI lumens, which is more than enough for you to be able to do something portable with it. It has Android TV 11, HDR 10 support, as well as a built-in 52 watt hour battery that's going to be good for up to two and a half hours of use. All right, so we just got the projector set up on this wall here. And this is actually not a prepped wall or anything. This is just a basic wall that I have in the house here. And this is actually a gray wall, so it's not even white. And this looks really, really good. So we got the projector right now sitting, I would have to say probably about six feet away from the wall. And this is probably about a 65 inch image right now that it's projecting. And I think this looks pretty good. I mean, this projecting a pretty good image. It's got decent brightness and I've got some of the lights on here. So it's actually fighting some of this ambient light. Um, but I think this is a pretty good image that we're getting from this right now. And as I mentioned earlier, this projector has autofocus as well as auto keystone correction. So if you were to aim the projector up, it's gonna automatically adjust the image and make it square and focused for you. So just about anybody can install this projector anywhere without any installation knowledge. Okay, so we're actually outside right now with the projector and we have it sitting on the ground, just aimed up at my garage door right now. And this is still on battery power. And this is a 4K HDR video that is playing and it looks really, really good this is impressive i think this is about a hundred inch screen right now or around a hundred inches if i had to guess not only is it streaming 4k hdr and playing it and looking good but i'm actually outside in my driveway where i normally have wi-fi issues and this is streaming this for 4k hdr this is really really impressive so I can think of a thousand ways that you can use this thing. You could take it out camping, project it onto the side of your truck or something like that. But I mean, that looks really good for me just to be holding it on the side of the truck. That looks really, really good. All right, so I'm actually gonna walk around to the side of the house to see if we can aim it on a bigger surface. This is really impressive. I mean, this is more than bright enough for you to have a movie night on the side of your house. Right now, I have it at about 200 inches. <laughs> which is even crazier. All right, so now we're downstairs in the home theater and I'm actually standing on the second row of the home theater with the projector sitting on a stand here aimed on the screen. And as you can see, this is actually filling up my 135 inch screen 
And I am incredibly impressed by how good this image looks. Not only did it fill the screen easily and auto keystone and auto, auto focus itself, but this image is actually really sharp and it's actually providing more brightness than I thought it would. It's more than bright enough for you to have a movie night at this image size. And again, this is saying a lot that it can, we can see this image perfectly fine from this tiny projector right now that's running on battery power. But what I do wanna talk about real quick is actually charging this thing or actually plugging it in. Now again, it came with this wall charger that you can use, you can just flip this out and actually plug it into the wall if I can get this thing out. Yeah, so this is gonna be a charger for you to plug it into the wall. But what's really cool is, since it's using a PD or power delivery port that's USB-C, you can just take a portable charger like this that you would use for a phone or something like that. This is actually a PD portable charger, and you can just plug this in with this. Now what's really cool is, not only you're gonna have, of course, be charging it, but you're also gonna have significantly extended battery life. So built into this projector is a two and a half hour battery life, up to two and a half hours, but with something like this, this I believe is like 20,000 milliamp hours. This is gonna extend the battery life even more, possibly even doubling it. And what else is really cool about this port is not only can you use it to plug in a charger, but you can actually use this USB port to plug in an external hard drive or even like a flash drive or something like that so you can play movies on the go, which is even crazier. So like, again, if you're on something like a camping trip, you can, you're obviously not gonna have Wi-Fi or you probably won't have Wi-Fi if you're in the middle of nowhere. You can take a portable hard drive or something, plug it into this and stream your movies right from that so you don't need an internet connection. So again, the possibilities really are endless with this thing and I gotta say, I'm really, really impressed with this. All right, now one thing we haven't really talked about yet is the built-in speakers, which is kind of interesting considering this thing looks like a Bluetooth speaker. Now I've already heard the speakers in this thing and I gotta say they are really, really loud. Now what's really cool is the fact that they actually place the speakers so that they're positioned to the back so that if you're actually assume you're going to be sitting behind the projector while it's aimed at the screen in front of you. So I'm going to give you a quick demo real quick to let you hear how loud this thing is. And the last thing I wanna talk about, which we haven't gotten to yet, is gaming. Now, portable projectors are really popular for gaming since people might wanna be able to pull it out and just aim it to have on, on the wall and have a big screen for you to connect your game system to it. And this projector actually works really, really well for gaming. So I actually measured the input lag on this projector and I was seeing input lag of 22 milliseconds, which is absolutely insane for a portable projector and even better than some of the actual home theater or even ultra short throw projectors that we've seen out there. So if you're a gamer and you're looking for a portable projector, I don't think I've seen input lag better than this, not to mention how good the image looks and the fact that it supports HDR10. All right, so how much is this projector? Well, it's definitely not cheap with the retail price of $799, but you can often find coupons of $50 off or even more. But the fact that it's coming with a lot of features that you don't usually see on portable projectors, such as eARC, HDR10 support, and a few others, the price definitely comes as no surprise. Now, I gotta admit, I wasn't quite sure what to expect when testing out this projector, but I was pleasantly surprised by its performance and all the features they were able to pack into it. Now, it may not be the cheapest portable projector out there, but compared to the others that I've seen, it's definitely among the best. And if you are interested in buying this projector, make sure you check the links in the video description so you can make sure you get the best deal on it. And make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any new videos I have coming up. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.